In this video I'll be showing you how to connect either a Venus GX or a Color Control GX device to the internet to make full use of the Victron VOM portal. There are multiple ways you can connect the devices to the internet. We will detail the most used and reliable connections. This method will use a network cable from the device to a router within the local vicinity. This router needs to be connected online either using mobile cellular or via fixed line to the property. Using a spare network port you can simply connect a network cable from the router to the Ethernet LAN port on the device. Once the device connects it will automatically connect to VRM. You can check the connection by accessing the Ethernet page which is located via the settings menu. This page indicates the state of connection, the IP address and MAC address of the GX device should you have MAC address security enabled on your router. You can connect online using a Wi-Fi USB dongle. To connect to Wi-Fi, although more and more of our devices have Wi-Fi built in, the Color Control GX requires a USB Wi-Fi dongle accessory. We have two available. A small version for medium range and a larger one for longer range. Details of these items are in the description below. This is the smaller Wi-Fi Nano USB. Just plug it into the USB port. Go to the settings menu and then Wi-Fi. Select the Wi-Fi network you wish to join and you will see the network configuration screen. Simply input the Wi-Fi network password and it will connect. If you have both Ethernet and Wi-Fi connected, the Ethernet will be used as default. If you have no local router or simply want a completely separate and self-contained system, you can use the GX GSM device from Victron. This is a self-contained GSM modem providing a mobile connection to the VRM portal. The modem requires an active mini SIM card with a mobile provider. It simply slides into the modem via a small port. There are two SMA connection ports on the side of the unit. One is for an antenna and a small 90 degree antenna is supplied with the modem. Should you require a better reception due to the location of the modem, you can use the GSM antenna accessory that can be mounted externally. Details of these are in the description below. The second SMA port is for a GPS unit that I shall go into more detail later in the video. Connect the USB cable to the modem. Finally connect the supplied fuse power cable to a power supply between 8 and 70 volts DC and connect it into the side of the modem. The modem uses around 2.5 watts whilst it communicates online and sends data. Under 1 watt whilst idling and if the GPS is enabled, you should add around 0.4 of a watt to the above figures. In the settings screen, navigate to GSM modem. After a while, the system will recognize the new modem and display the configuration screen. You can see on this screen it's offline, trying to connect to the EE3G network and has 2 out of 4 bar reception. Depending on the operator you are using, in my case EE, you may need to change the access point name or APN. After a quick Google search for the APN for EE, it's everywhere. I navigated down to use default APN and deselected it. I then changed the APN name to everywhere and exited the screen. As soon as I returned to the main screen, the modem was already online. If your internet data traffic is expensive, for example when using a satellite uplink or with roaming cellular charges, here are a couple of tips to help. Disable the auto update via the settings firmware menu. Reduce the logging intervals to a higher interval via settings VRM online portal. Depending on the quantity of connected products, the data required if the device logs every minute is around 25 megabytes per month. Finally, you can track the location of your device using the active GPS antenna accessory. It has a magnetic base that simply sits on the roof of the vehicle or boat. There are 3 meters of cable and you simply connect the SMA connector to the GPS port of the modem. If you navigate to settings GPS, you can see the current GPS location, the speed, course and quantity of satellites connected. 
the GPS location is included within the VOM portal page where you can see the exact location of the device as well as set a geofence around the location for additional security. Connecting your GX device online to the free-to-use Victron Remote Management System opens up a whole list of logging, remote access, fault-finding and location options, and this is highly recommended.